What's up guys, Alton here with another video. Um, I just gotta let you guys know that before we actually get into this video and my critique of it, this video, I saw it earlier today, I came home, I said I gotta make a response video to this because it kinda had me triggered a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was pretty triggered when I saw this. Uh, and it's not because Snoop Dogg is coming out with an album, a gospel album. But it is the way he's responding to the question about is like should secular people or what do you say to people who say that secular artists should not do gospel music. So we're going to do just like we always do. We're going to get into this video, break it down, talk about it, discuss it and come from a biblical standpoint so without further ado let's just go ahead and get right into the video what do you say to people that don't like the idea of a secular artist coming into gospel music well, the devil is a lie i thought church was supposed to welcome sinners well first of all snoop dogg i'm sorry to say but you actually thought wrong and by saying the devil is a lie that's something that we know that is that was just constructed within a black church that phrase the devil is a lie that's not found in the bible um but it does say that the devil is a liar and from my perspective the devil has lied to anyone who believes that the church is supposed to be this come one come all you know anyone who's a sinner just come on in and you know church is supposed to be like a hospital which i'm going to actually do a video in response to that but for now, we're just going to go ahead and finish this video. But as I digress, church is not some place where it's come one, come all. And no matter who you are, you can just walk up in there and you can just fellowship with, with the saints. The church is for people who take the faith seriously. Okay, it's for Christians who come together, who have dedicated their lives to serving Christ. And they come together as a family, you know, as brothers and sisters of the word. They come together and they their whole goal is to spread the gospel. And that's what the that's what the church is supposed to be. It's, it's not supposed to be a place where, you know, when people are feeling convicted or they're feeling bad about themselves, um, they should just come in and listen to some preacher tell them that they're going to be all right and it's going to be their season and all of this arbitrary stuff so um snoop dogg is actually off on that and i can't really blame him because these things are not usually explained fully explained in the church so let's just go ahead and let's continue if the church was full of saints it wouldn't be right so if you find somebody trying to find their way back home the natural thing to do is to be warm welcoming open your arms and say brother we accept you for who you are i don't pay no attention to the negativity because i have yet to get any negativity the only negativity i get is when a question is asked but i've never been confronted with anybody in the gospel world i can name all okay let's go ahead and stop it right there um he's basically saying that you know this he's never been hit with negativity and all of this stuff in the gospel world because that's where he's going with this and he said that I've never been here with negativity unless I'm asked questions like this. Well, first of all, we are supposed to ask questions. So any church that you go to, they're supposed to have a statement of faith or, or a confession of faith. And if you're sitting up in the church and you don't know what their confession or their statement of faith is, I highly advise that you read what their statement or their confession of faith is and see if that church is actually um, a church for you. And, and what you believe because they may not believe what you believe and you may not believe what they believe so this whole come one come all thing and you know it's negative to ask questions and stuff I mean I think I I think it was a valid question and I believe that he got triggered because he's convicted that he know that this is somewhere he shouldn't be especially if he's not serious about the Lord all these legends, Rance Allen, these are elders and legends in the game. If they don't have a problem with it, you shouldn't either. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, who, who are these elders that, that you're talking about? Because, you know, it's, and just like I said, 
in the last clip that, that I was just talking about, uh, about the reading the church's confession and, and statement of faith. So, you, you know, you can go to a certain church and they can say, well, we accept you for who you are. And you may go to another church that may say, well, I mean, we don't accept you for who you are. Like, we want to know that we're fellowshipping with someone who is very serious about the faith. And if you're not serious about the faith, then you can't, then you can't join here. People got to know what your motives are. And I find it so ironic that we don't treat any other institutions like that. You know, and Snoop Dogg used to be a crip. He used to, he used to be a gang member, but that's neither here nor there. But my point is, with him being a gang member, you know that there were certain rules and there were certain things that you had to do in order to be considered a part of that gang. But we'll accept the fact that in order to be a gang member, you have to go through certain things and people have to question you and all of this stuff here. But when it comes to the church, people are just supposed to just let you do whatever you want. Now, and if you do, what's happening? Yeah, I said it. What's happening? What about you? So, I mean, what's with all of the attitude? Now, if you're supposed to be uh, a Christian person, because my thing is, is that if you're talking about you're a gospel rapper, uh, a gospel rapper, a gospel singer, whatever now, and you still have an attitude like this, this is why having that confession of faith or reading your church's confession of faith or, or their statement, it, you have to know who you're dealing with. And I mean, a person who has an attitude like this, this is not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be coming up into the church with this attitude. I mean, you don't even go to church or really show that you are, uh, that you're all sold out for Christ. Like your attitude is horrible. It's like, oh, what's happening? What's that? I mean, come on, man. This ain't the streets. This is the church, man. Have you checked your status? Are you you going to heaven? Why are you judging me? Well, first of all, <laughs> said a couple of things there that we need to unpack. Um, the church is supposed to judge the church. So now, if you're talking about becoming a gospel rapper and you're talking about you're judging me, yeah, I'm supposed to judge you. That's, that's what scripture says. <laughs> it says that we are to judge the church and we are to judge the members in the church and, and we do that so we can edify the body of Christ because we are supposed to make sure that everyone is getting it right you know iron sharpens iron so I'm not gonna sit back and let you be the dullest knife in the box you know I'm gonna help sharpen you up you know because I want you to be as sharp as I am or you know in fact sharper than I am so Therefore, we can continue to get the gospel out, not gospel music, but the message of Christ. How much work have you put in for the Lord? Hmm. Reverend, the Reverend needs to hear that because I know one of the Reverends got something to say and I just wanted to say that right back to you, Reverend. Now, I'm doing this video and I just want to let you guys know, I don't know who he's talking about because if it, if I knew, I would have added that clip into this, into this video, but this wasn't a video that I just had prepared. It wasn't something that I've been thinking about all week. So this was something that I saw literally maybe like five or six hours ago. And as soon as I got home, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and make this video. And that's what I'm doing now. But if you do have someone who is a reverend or an elder in the church, then that person is supposed to correct and, and reprove you. Especially if they see that you're in error. So... I mean, just like Snoop Dogg said earlier, he says, you know, these other elders and these other pastors don't have a problem with him. But now all of a sudden you're upset because another elder or pastor of a church has a problem with what you're doing. But you guys are supposed to speak to each other in private and try to hash it out. But like I said, that, that's neither here nor there. And let, let's just go ahead and, and finish this up. Praise God. Okay, so basically, guys, that's just the end of the video. Uh, forgot for you guys who are not familiar with the BET Stella Awards, and apparently they were at the BET Stella Awards, and this is a thing that BET does, I think, every year, 
And if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be like this award show for, you know, just, you know, like gospel singers and stuff like that. Now, my takeaway from this video, and I'm just going to be honest and I'm just going to keep it real. We all know that Snoop Dogg's career has not been the best. All right. We all know that Snoop Dogg's career has kind of been on on a decline. And and I say that because not because I'm hating on him, but it's it's just fact. And you know, here here he is. He's almost 50 years old. And you you can't keep rapping about certain things and with the music changing so rapidly now, you know, you got the mumble rappers and all of this stuff that's going on. Um, of course, you know, Snoop Dogg is not going, he can't get into that. So, I think he's now trying his hand at gospel. Now, before he tried his hand at gospel, um, he was doing reggae. He called himself Snoop Lion, and he was, you know, he, and he claimed that he was on this spiritual, spiritual search. And he went to Jamaica and all of this stuff here and smoking all of this weed, trying to connect with ancestors and all of this just crazy stuff. And then we all know about his whole rap career, how he was just label to label, um, doing this, doing that. And then there was a uh, there was even a point where he was even trying to do country music. So Snoop Dogg has been all over the place. And, you know, one thing I'm going to say is that you know, if you're a hustler and that's what you do, and you have all of these different interests, I mean, that's fine. You know, you can be interested in, in whatever you want to be interested in. But when it comes to the church, the church is something serious. Okay, because I know a lot of people are going to watch this video and they're going to say, well, you don't know what God has for, for Snoop Dogg. And, you know, and maybe he's going to use Snoop Dogg to... Preach the gospel and get the gospel out there. It's like, no, we, I mean, we have to be discerning. And we all know that we can all tell a tree from the fruit that it bears. And Snoop Dogg is not bearing a fruit of a true follower of Christ. And I mean, and if you say that he is, and I highly recommend that you read your Bible. Um, because even Jesus said it himself. He said... Not everyone who comes to me saying, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Uh, only the one who does the will of my father. So basically, he's telling you right then and there that just because you say, Lord, Lord, that doesn't mean that you're automatically going to heaven and that you're going to be with him. So it's like, it's like, come on. We have to start being more serious about the church. I mean, we really do. As Christians, we have to start being more and more serious about who we're letting into the church and who we're praising. And I wouldn't say just letting into the church, but praising. Because we all know that the black church, and, and I'm just going to be honest with you guys, um, the black church has, has really kind of missed the mark within the past, I'll probably say, past 30 years. You know, this... Uh, like I said in my video, addressing the foolishness in the black church, the church has, the black church in particular, has become a sideshow. And we know it. And I think that it's because, just to put it out there, black Christians are some of the most naive people on the planet. And I'm sorry to say that. I may come across a little harsh, but, but just... Statistic wise, black people, black Christians are some of the most naive people on the planet. And I don't think that they're doing it. I'm not saying that maliciously, but I'm saying that just to kind of bring people aware or make people aware of that. Because it just seems like anyone who says, you know, I'm a Christian and, you know, I serve God. It's like they're like, OK, whatever, you know, we'll add you. Um, or we'll check you off as a Christian. You know, we just want to save souls. And it's not about saving souls because you can't save souls. It's only the Holy Spirit that is able to draw people onto Christ. So it's not it's not something that you do. We're, we're supposed to be spreading the gospel. So when we spread the gospel, it's the Holy Spirit that interacts and basically says, this person is an elect or this person is not. 
You know, or this person is going to remain a reprobate. And right now, to be honest with you, I believe that Snoop Dogg is only doing this because he want to try to keep his money count. He want to try to keep his money going. And I'm willing to bet after a couple of years, he's not going to be doing any gospel gospel albums. Now, I would love to see Snoop Dogg, you know, try to take on this, this whole gospel album thing and somehow... The Lord changes his heart and he repents of all his sins and, and you know, he, he becomes saved. I would love to see that. But on the surface, we know that this is this is something that's invalid. This man is not doing this because he just suddenly have a change of heart and he suddenly sold out for Christ. He's doing this because he's trying to keep money in his pocket. And I think that us as the church, we have to start we have to start being more serious because there's no other religion there is not one single religion besides the church besides Christianity where people feel like that they are comfortable enough to just do whatever they want to do and no one's going to say anything you can't you you can't go to a, to a mosque to a Muslim mosque and just say yeah you know I'm just going to come in and you know I'm not going to take my shoes off and I'm just gonna run up in there, and I'm just gonna believe what I want. And I'm, but I'm gonna sit there at the mosque every time that there is um, a gathering or a service. When you get ready to join the mosque, these people are gonna—they're gonna question you. You gotta sit down with somebody. You gotta talk to them, and they're gonna tell you, and they're gonna let you know this is what we're about. Christians, we don't do that. We just on Sundays we open those doors up. Whoever decides to walk in, they just walk in. And a lot of pastors are doing that because they want that money. They want the tithes and the offerings. And right now we can see that a lot of the stuff is going too far. I mean, you got Snoop Dogg, a gospel album. It's like, come on, you guys know that that that, that doesn't even look right. And I don't care how naive you are. You just, you know innately that looking at Snoop Dogg talking about he's going to come out with this gospel rap album. Come on, man. You guys know it's a joke. I ain't the only one sitting here. And some of you who are critiquing me, y'all know it's a joke too. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and make this quick video, guys. Um, as always, if you like what you heard, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like what you heard, rate, share, uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for the notifications. So therefore, anytime I upload a new video, sometimes it's, it's late at night when I do upload a new video, um, you guys will be the first ones to be notified and uh, as always uh, you guys have a blessed day